Hello, Internet. My name's Craig, and this is the Chiodos van. Woo! We'll start off with the exterior. I'll be your host. The Insane Clown Pass. I think it meant to say Insane Clown Posse, but we've been juggalos for so long that it just wore off. And um, all these beautiful wolves and American butterflies everywhere. I don't actually think we're responsible for those. This van sits outside of my place in Detroit, and as you can see on this side, there's a little bit of fade, and I think on the other side as well, because kids like to come by and write notes uh, where I live on the side of the van, which is pretty awkward, <laughs> because they probably spy on me naked. Gotcha. Um, also, Clean Jane White van. Actually, I don't really think we thought about it, but the fact that it's not a plain Jane White van helps us distinguish it when on tour. If you take a look over there, you'll see an example of what not to be. Back to the gray. Ah, uh, how nice. Ah, uh, how nice. And I believe Derek going to take you on the rest. Thank you, Internet. Hi, folks. My name's Derek. I play drums with Judas. We're going to look inside the van now. Everyone thinks rock and roll is glitz and glam, but it's, uh, it's a little more than that. So Inside the van, as you can see, there's multiple benches that you either share a bench or get your own bench. just kind of depends on the day or if you've driven or not or whatever. Uh, usually people will bring a couple pillows along. Uh, this is actually decently clean for seven to eight people living in here and whatnot. Um, you know, we usually have a case of water in here so people can stay hydrated and whatnot. Uh, I mean, there's hoodies, there's blankets. Um, I mean, this is my personal bag right here. and You know, you just try to keep all your toiletries in one thing so you're organized. And you don't take up as much room. Usually everyone has about a bag or two in the van, a laptop bag and a personal bag. Kind of like flying, you know, you have the TSA rules. So. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, as you can see, there's like water bottles on the floor up here where people are drinking water in the morning and what have you. Uh, sometimes we were actually fortunate enough to meet people that will give us free clothing. And right here's a box actually of like a couple free shirts that we got. And in the corner is one of the shirts that didn't fit anyone. So we have that going on. Uh, looks like there might be some chocolate bonbons underneath the seat there. So that this is usually where Craig sits in row two, if you will. Um, it just depends. It's kind of funny too because we always talk about if you're sitting in the back of the van, that's where kind of all the funny jokes happen. And if you're in the front, you like miss out on all this, you know, interaction between people. So it's just kind of like if you're in the front seat, it's like headphones. That's it. So in the front, usually it's a little bit cleaner because there's not as much room. The cockpit, if you will. Uh, usually we have some air fresheners to keep it smelling nice and whatnot. Um, and also, I guess the most unique thing as well is probably the fact that these air vents, it's either very, very hot or very, very cold. It's right up here yeah, above you. And so usually if you get too cold, I mean, it, it gets frustrating for the driver to turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it off. So people just start stuffing socks and tissues in the air vents to, you know, it's like, okay, it's a little too cold. And even with them closed, it still comes through rather in a large abundance of like blowing air or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Chiodos van and kind of cruise around and do it ourselves now. We're going back to the DIY style, I guess you could say. So it's interesting, that's for sure. All right, wonderful. Thanks for having us.